Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, we'll discuss about uh, what is all about system integration testing versus what is the key differences between uh, SIT versus regression testing. The first uh, key difference between systems integration testing versus regression testing is in terms of scope or an objective. Basically, SIT normally we focus on testing uh, different components, whatever the individual components developed by the developer that will get integrated whenever the systems or components get integrated. That is when the integration testing we will be performing to ensure that all the integration aspect from the one component to another component really works fine. But in terms of regression, it is more we are focusing on um, the entire system and we will be more focusing on if whatever the recent changes is really impact the overall system or not. That is where we normally we test as part of the regression testing. And the second key difference is in terms of environment or uh, test data which we use as part of SAT and regression. Normally during integration testing, try to generate new test data and we'll try to evaluate the interaction or integration points for uh, integration testing. But in regression testing, we will try to test the things, whatever the previously collected test data is the second difference. And the third difference is in terms of test execution. Most of the time uh, we try to simulate uh, production like environment. Otherwise, uh, whatever we tested today, it may not work for the customer. Our testing system should be as good as uh, production like environment, including the production like data that would give a confidence to the testing. And the uh, Fourth is in terms of timing, when we do integration testing. So integration testing we normally do once uh, unit testing is done. That is the timing when we do SAT. But in the regression testing we do whenever there is a change or modification in the code or modification to the system, that is the time the regression testing will be performed. And the fifth is design in terms of the design, what are the key things. Whenever we try to design a new test, we normally focusing on uh, components or models which are uh, getting integrated. But here yeah, regression testing test cases will be designed in terms of uh, what are the different changes might happen, what could be the impact of new changes. Based on that, uh, we'll take up a test design or we'll pick the test cases for the execution. 